future. Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 10440 in the name of Joe Fitzpatrick on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out revisions to the business programme for this week. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press the request to speak button now. And I call on Joe Fitzpatrick to move motion number 10440. Moved. No member has asked to speak against the motion, therefore I now put the question to the Chamber. The question is that motion number 10440 in the name of Joe Fitzpatrick, be agreed to. Are we all agreed? The motion is therefore agreed to. The next item of business is topical questions. Question one, Liam MacArthur. Thank you, President Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what its position is on reports that people with serious criminal convictions are teaching in schools. Minister Alistair Allen. The Scottish Government is determined that appropriate steps are taken to ensure that our children are safe and secure and that parents have confidence in the arrangements in place for safeguarding their children. The General Teaching Council for Scotland has been an independent body since April 2012, and it is for the GTCS to satisfy themselves about the credentials of teachers working in Scotland. It is important that the GTCS keep its procedures under review to ensure that parents can be confident uh, about the safeguards in place. Liam MacArthur. Uh, thank you very much. And can I thank the Minister for his response? As you'll be aware, figures have revealed uh, that around uh, 400 uh, staff since 2007 with a criminal record have been uh, teaching in, uh, in our schools. Now, while a number of those uh, convictions are for uh, offences that have nothing to do with um, the, uh, the, their roles uh, as teachers, there are a number that I think will cause concern amongst parents, pupils uh, and the wider population, some of a sexual nature, uh, some in relation to assault. Notwithstanding what he said about the independence of the GTCS, is this something that uh, he is prepared to consider discussing with the GTCS to see if uh, those rules need further clarification and certain offences um, would result in a debarring uh, of the individuals from the teaching profession? Minister. Well, the, the member is, is right to... to the member is right to, to look at this issue as, as something that's worthy of serious uh, uh, discussion. Uh, I have sought information from the GTCS, who are independent uh, uh, of political control. But um, since he mentions figures, I think it is important to put the figures in some context without reducing by any means this, this vital issue to figures. Um, there has been some discussion in the press of a figure of around uh, 400 criminals, including sex offenders, working in our schools. I, I think I should say what the figures are, having sought them from the GTCS. Uh, in the year 2011-12, 105 of 113 cases dealt with uh, related to road traffic offences such as speeding, uh, and in 2012-13, uh, 146 of 158 dealt with road traffic offences. Now, I don't wish to trivialise road traffic offences, but uh, I think it is also worth saying that uh, in that two-year period, and it is the only uh, period for which reliable figures exist, there were two uh, that dealt with um, matters relating uh, to sexual uh, convictions. And again, I, I don't trivialise those, but neither of those involved either a child or a non-consenting adult. And one of them, in fact, dealt with uh, an incident in 1966 where the teacher concerned had had sex aged 17 uh, in contravention of what was then the law. So uh, we should take this, uh, this, this whole issue extremely seriously uh, the GTCS does, uh, but I think it's also important to put those figures in some, in some context. Mr MacArthur. Uh, can I thank the Minister for that further clarification? I think it, um, it is entirely sensible uh, when discussing uh, these issues to put in context the fact that we're talking about a small minority across a workforce that do uh, such excellent work uh, with our children and young people. But nevertheless, there have been uh, a, number of, a small number of, of incidents, one uh, in relation to a, an assault that led to a community service order um, which uh, was uh, running uh, coincidentally with the, that individual remaining within the, the, the profession and therefore, again, notwithstanding the, the independence of the GCCS, will he commit to having further discussions with them uh, about whether or not uh, those uh, rules need to be uh, slightly tightened up in light of, uh, of those figures? Minister. Well, in terms of, of what the, the GTCS's uh, procedures are, it is for them to bring forward uh, any new procedures that they may wish to, to do. 
Um, but again, I, I hope I have reassured the member that, that some of the figures in circulation have, have, been, uh, have, have tended towards a, an inaccurate impression of the situation. Uh, the GTCS and the government take extremely seriously uh, the issue of child safety. Uh, and I, I believe that the 71,000 people who are, are registered uh, in Scotland with the GTCS do so too. Thank you. That ends topical questions. The next item of business is a statement by Angela Constance.